The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that, Head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Baldur. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. Remember there being a massive candle out. Really livened up the place. Help but break things, can you? Ah! If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
Focus up, boy. Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Would you focus on your dad? You quit that shit. I mean it. I walked away. Maybe. I'll call that three straight years. This is what father gave me. So you will stop talking. Focus and help me find them. Ooh, can't disappoint father. Oh, smack you, boy. No, we care not to disappoint father. Now keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me! I can't remember the last time we faced an actual challenge. Call this a challenge. An old man in this stillborn land. Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh, no. Okay. Come here, Hathaway. You're done now, Daddy's Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> <laughs>
grab your face so you look like her. Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> Don't listen to him, lad. He's trying to rile you up. Idiot! Sunday. I send him door, I welcome to try. Head! Sorry, overstepped, yeah? To us, guys. Stop it! What's the fear? It's a little run for his mom. Stop it! Boy, yeah. stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> Boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a good 
god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I... In his father's Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Gearing up for quite the journey. We were here before. But which way back? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Atreus, follow me. Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, 
fought some bad gods? What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Mimir, you were in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the Long War? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Find that magical law. setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. What if you need to use one and I'm not there? This will be fun. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. 
Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it, cause Magni's gone! It'll be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> That's true, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Mm. Ah! Ah! Oops, I think I broke him. <laughs> You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. eye is on you, brother, especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move, and if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never a god, but a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Somebody just called the serpent.
fever burns hotter. He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. I'm still a god. Go away. The boy has fallen ill. Freya! He's ill. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. found only in Helheim, the keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding cold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Let's see what those are. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. Foreign magic. Sweden ain't his nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. No. We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. And what I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye.